Yeah, good morning, Jen. It's uh, 5, yeah, 516. On our Friday morning, a beautiful evening out there. It was mostly clear skies, but if you got out away from the city, you may have been treated to the northern lights. I hit on this a couple days ago. It was a pretty minor solar storm, but just enough that if you were way out away from the city lights, we got a glimpse of some of those northern lights. Big thanks to Tina for sharing that photo with us this morning. Ashley is out at Deer Park and uh, also the northern lights visible there too. And one more cool video to show you out of Moses Lake, a time lapse. And you can see the Aurora beaming in the northern distance. Uh, big thanks to Kevin for that photo as well. And if you took any great weather photos, northern lights or otherwise, be sure to share that with me over on Facebook and Twitter. For our weather headlines, windy today and tonight. That's really what we're focusing on primarily here. And when we look at the big regional picture, it's this feature, this little bit of cloud cover that's extending through British Columbia. That's a cold front and that cold front is a Pretty strong one at that. So on future tracker, there it is. It moves into the area late in the afternoon. That's about five o'clock or so. And notice how there will be a few light showers attached to that, especially for our northern areas, primarily a small chance for Spokane and southward for any rain. So instead, the winds is really what we're going to be watching for throughout the afternoon hours. I think our strongest winds will be between two and six o'clock today and some wind gusts between 30 and 50 miles per hour. Most of us probably closer to 30, but off the east slopes of the Cascades where those winds get a little bit extra momentum, they'll be a little bit faster overall. At least today is a warm day. Highs in the 60s before that cold front arrives because it'll be colder all of next week. In fact, highs will just be in the 40s, including Halloween next Thursday, 43 degrees right around sunset, but at night, those temperatures do dip down into the 30s. So make sure the kids are plenty bundled up as they head out trick or treating next Thursday. And it's yeah, pretty telling, especially when our seven day has the bars that react to just how warm those temperatures are. Today stands out at 62 degrees and windy, but that cold front does what cold fronts do make us colder. And that's why the weekend just in the 40s overall, but otherwise not much precipitation. Just mentioned a small chance for showers today and perhaps some mountain showers for tomorrow. I'm looking at those overnight lows, Thomas, in the 20s. Down into the 20s. Yeah, a little bit colder than average, but it is late October and, you know, next Friday is November. So we're getting a little bit closer to winter. So yeah, and yeah. Halloween now in the seven day forecast. Yes, I got to remember to put the pumpkin on my forecast next time around. <laughs> All we need to know is it's going to be cold right now. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs>